On our last Where is the Value, we did collector booster packs. Now we're going to do set booster packs. Where is the value? Welcome back to my channel. I am Matt Caster Mage and I do make Magic the Gathering videos every single day. So if you do enjoy my videos, please hit that like button so this video does get shared in YouTube's algorithm. Okay. We have four recent set booster packs. We have Zenikar Rising, Kaldheim, Strixhaven, and Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Where is the value going to be? Hmm. I'm going to cast my vote right now. I have a feeling Strixhaven is going to be the one that has the most value. Now, remember, there's only 12 cards in here instead of the standard 15 that you'd find in draft boosters. But that doesn't mean that you're going to get less value. On the contrary, sometimes you actually get a lot more value. Let's start with the oldest first, which will be Zendikar Rising, and then we will do Kaldheim, Shrixhaven, and then Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in Gotten Realms. Okay, let's see where is the value. Come on, Zendikar Rising, show us. Is it going to be in here? Let's take a look. We're going to be counting everything over a dollar. Uh, actually, let's just do Mythics and Rares, and any Uncommon or uh, any real substantial value, we'll do that too. All right, starting things off with an art card, which is uh, not valuable. We got a full art foil mountain to start things off here with the set booster. Territorial Scythe Cat, I don't think they're, oh, Cleansing Wildfire might be around a dollar. I'll put that aside just in case and I'll, I'll check after I'm editing. Let's see, what else do we have here? Malachur Rebirth, uh, might be worth a dollar. I think it might be, so I'll put that up top too. Shell Shield, we have Territorial Scythe Cat, and we got Bright Climb Pathway. Okay, actually, this set booster's uh, kicking things off pretty, pretty well. Not bad at all. Our next card is a, it's a foil rare. It is Mall of the Skyclaves. Okay, not the best card, but it is a foil rare, so that will be added to the total as well. And we did not get a set card for that pack. Okay. On to the next one, we have Kaldheim. Come on, where is the value? Let's see, will it be inside Kaldheim? Possibly. Possibly. I think there is a set card here, a list card, I mean. Uh, we have a nice art card here. What is this? Uh, Path to the World Tree. Okay. Snow-covered swamp. Okay, so let's go through here slow, because I don't think there is any real value in the commons in Kaldheim. Okay, we got a Marit of the Frost. Icebind Pillar, and then we get a Seekus Chariot. Okay, I think this is about a dollar or so, maybe a little more than a dollar, so that'll be added to the total. Sculptor of Winter, and we've got a foil common bound in gold. Uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, Kaldheim is uh, one of the losers on this, but we do have a list card, and is it, what is this, Mark Zug 12? Oh, wow, it's a rare from Cold Snap. Okay. Don't think this is, is worth much, unfortunately, but it is a rare. Getting a rare on the list is uh, is pretty good in general. I mean, luck-wise, is pretty good. Fortunately, I don't think the value really is here with this card. But we'll put it aside anyways, and I'll double check just to make sure at the end when I'm editing. Strixhaven, it's off to you. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. It's not gonna be too hard to beat uh, what we have so far. Very nice art card there. Um, we've got an island. Okay. Oh, and right off the bat, uh, Academic Probation. Nice uh, lesson card here. So that is a rare. It'll be added to the total. Okay. Okay, so we got a Devoting... Okay, Devoting Tendrils. Devouring Tendrils, sorry about that. Jeez. We get a rare here, Accomplished Alchemist. Next card is an Uncommon Revitalize. Right, yeah, yeah. Not really worth too much value there. And we have a Foil Rare, though. It is a Hall of Oracles. Okay. Not bad. I mean, it is a Foil Rare. We got two Foil Rares so far. And I don't think we got a List card. Yeah, it's just a mini game. Okay, cool. All right, that means there is one last pack to go. And unfortunately, it is uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. I personally do not like this set, but you know what? If the set does me well with this pack, maybe I'll change my tune on this. Maybe I'll actually praise Adventures of the Young Realms a little bit more, but we don't have a list card in this one as well. So we have a forest there. Beautiful artwork. Nice art card. Put that aside. And then we got a foil mountain. A pixie guide. 
And then I don't think there's any commons really that are worth much. A Reaper's Talisman there, Lightfoot Rogue, Trickster's Talisman, and we have a Rhyme Shield Frost Giant with a Warlock class. And our rare in the pack is a Circle of Dreams Druid. Okay, not bad. It's actually one of the better rares in the set. I think this is about $5 right now, unless it's went down substantially. But that is a pretty decent pull. Our next card is a Foil Common. It is a Plundering Barbarian. And I think that's it, because I don't... Yeah, we didn't get any list cards. Okay, so that's the last one. Ooh, this is a tough one. Ooh, that is a tough one. I don't know, because if this card is worth around $10 or more, I mean... Ah, uh, yeah, Adventure of Forgotten Realms might be the winner. But you know what? I'm still... Hmm. Yeah, that's a really, really hard one. I still think that Zendikar Rising, with uh, its cards here... I'm going to say Zendikar Rising won. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of these set booster battles. Uh, where's the value? Let me know also, what do you think I should do next for a Where's the Value? I'm always looking for new ideas for this series. Uh, let me know down in the comments section below what you'd like to see next. I found this one interesting. Maybe I'll do another set booster battle uh, where we actually uh, add the newer set in, you know, like Innistrad, and we'll revisit this again and see uh, see where the value is in all this. Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.